you guys. Well, the other day I told you I was going to have to make some changes on the deer hunting. So I thought I'd fill you in on what we're doing. Now to try to make a long story short, for about 12 years we've hunted down here in this bottom. But then last year the landowner sold the ground. The new owner contacted me and told me to move all our stuff out. And that was fine. I kind of expected something like that may happen. But while moving things out, I talked to the neighbor, and he said, hey, one hunt deer over in his place I could. Now, it's not nearly as big of an area, but I figured, I knew there were two guys hunting rifle. I figured we could get by with that. So, I talked to those guys. I knew where their stands were, and I thought I'd set myself up behind them. So we were pointing different directions, and I just set in a ground blind. Well, everything was good until a couple days ago, or yesterday, I guess it was. When I got contacted, and well, it turns out the two guys are normally there. Now there's going to be two other guys with them, which makes four. And then the landowner told me that while he was combining, he happened to see a pickup down this way, and he didn't get a chance to talk to him, but his wife did. And some guy claiming he had permission to hunt there, and he was checking it out. And he said, I have no idea how to get a hold of him. I don't even know who it was, so that guy might be running around. So that got us. To six people. Hang on just a second, I gotta open the gate. So, anyway, now we're gonna end up with six people hunting on a small piece of ground. And you know what? I want a deer, but I don't want one that bad. So, I called another neighbor, I talked to him. It's a piece of ground I'd hunted years ago before I started down here, and he said, No problem, if I need it, I could go hunt in his spot. So, I figured that's fine, I'm going to move over there, coming down here, we're going to pick up my pop-up line so I get it out of here, and we'll go set up the new spot. So right now, let's go grab my pop-up. You know, I really kind of hated leaving here, nice thick spot in the woods, good spot to hunt, but sometimes you got to figure, we're going to try to be a little safe if we can, and I decided probably going to be better if I move out of here but I did want to come go ahead and get my pop-up no use leaving it I got a trail camera don't want to leave that for now I'll probably come back here and hunt turkeys in the spring because nobody else comes down but for deer I think we'll let her go I'll show you here's my pop-up and I do something a little different during the year there we go during the year I brought down some lumber and I build a wood platform and then I set the pop-up on top of the platform for now i'm just going to get the pop up i'm not going to worry about the platform we'll come get that later all right let's get this apart All right, got the camera, got the blind, got the chair, got everything out. Time to go back up, reset up in a different location. But this one, it's gonna be a little different than most people hunt. You'll see what I mean in just a second. All right, change of hunting location means a change of blinds. This one's gonna be a little tougher to move than the last one. But I got a way to do it.
of a bean field. Let's go inside, get out of the wind. I'll tell you why I set up here. There we go. That's a little better getting out of the wind. I'll tell you what, 20s this morning with a north wind. It was a little nippy out there. All right, why am I setting up in the middle of a bean field? Well, mainly because there's going to be five other guys down in a small area and I didn't want to hunt with that many people around. Or why do I think this is going to work, sitting up in the middle of a bean field? The river bottom, with all the trees where we used to hunt for all those years, is about a half mile off to my left. Every evening just before sundown, those deer are going to come piling out of those, that river bottom and they're going to come across all these farm fields, the bean fields, the corn fields. They're going to feed all night long. And then every morning, just before sunup, or right at sunup, they're going to start coming back across, heading back down to the river. Now in the evening, you don't have much time because they're going to come out late. We can hunt 30 minutes after sundown here. You're going to get about a one hour hunt in the evening. Mornings you can stay a little longer because those deer will move a little later, especially right now during the rut. Before we hunted the river bottom, we hunted here, I mean, we literally used to set a, stand up a roll of snow fence by our driveway. And you southern guys may have to Google snow fence to figure out what that is. But we used to have snow fence set up. We'd take a folding chair and sit behind the snow fence. You know, Sit out there about a half hour, half hour before sundown, and all of a sudden, here the deer would come across. We'd pick out the ones we wanted. Basically, we were hunting for venison, so we were just shooting does for venison. And be honest with you, we needed to get the deer population lowered just a little bit. There were nights you could sit out there, you'd have 50, 75, maybe 100 deer come across. EHD hit a few years ago. Now we don't have nearly as many deer as we had before. But I should still see some coming across. And basically, I'd like to get something for some venison. My daughter wanted some more hamburger, so I said I better do that. Now, will I videotape and make videos on the hunt? I don't know. YouTube has gotten so funny about that. You know, killing something or guns and that type of stuff. So I may just avoid it. I don't want to have problems. I basically do fishing videos. I don't do a lot of hunting videos. So I'm not sure if I'm going to go through all that for one hunting video and a deer and then have problems with YouTube. So you may see something, you may not, I don't know, but I did want to show you why I had to make a change, what kind of change I was making, and uh, how I was going to set up deer hunting in a place a lot of people probably wouldn't hunt. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.